Don Bush led the team searching today for the Rock River's rogue snakehead. We're thinking that this thing may have survived in the river by overwintering in the hot water outfall from the Alliant uh, power plant. That's why the DNR is concerned about capturing the fish. It could last another winter if it finds warm enough water. Don's team took to the Rock River in several boats, each equipped with generators and electrical equipment designed to attract fish. Definitely Laura Canny has been with the DNR almost two years. She'd be the first to see if a snakehead approaches her boat. As the big electrodes on the front send electricity into the water, it brings the fish to the surface and I net everything that I see. Even though just one snakehead was found here, the DNR says as aggressive as it is, the fish can make a big difference in the river's ecosystem. They're incredibly voracious predators that basically will uh, uh, have the ability to clean out a lot of other ponds and rivers. And the search continues without a find, a fish hunt that keeps the DNR working nonstop, and crew members say the hours can be taxing. Not slow, but mildly tedious because we're trying to cover so much water and we're you know, looking for one specific fish.